Hey guys, guess what I'm doing? Another Spark Plug Entertainment movie. I know, I'm really running out of ideas for this channel. So, you're probably wondering what crappy ass movie it is. Well, it's none other than Spider's Web of Pig's Tail. Another one of their movies. Which is a rip off of, you guessed it, Charlotte's Reb. Web. Not Reb. What the hell am I talking about, Reb? Anyways, it's a rip off the classic uh, book that all gave us nightmares. Oh yeah, and uh, it's also ripping off the movie, but I don't really like it. So anyways, you're probably wondering what I'm going to do. Well, I'm most likely going to review the Charles Web game made by Blast Entertainment. You know, just to close off this trilogy. Or duo. I don't know. Play the footage. So first of all, we are introduced to the character of Walter. Insert funny Breaking Bad joke here. Essentially, he is a really big liar. All he ever does is just lie, lie, lie. And I guess this bum really doesn't like that. Same with the spider bitch or something, I don't know. So essentially, the snake dude comes along and he says, Hey mate, I'm gonna make you real famous. And uh, Walter, being the fucking moron that he is, Hops aboard and oh my god! No! Sparky! What did they do to you? I don't think they didn't just do that to my boy Sparky. They did it to his friends. Sure, Speedy, she deserved it, but like. And the less we talk about what happened to the gas pump, the better. He was too young. So these weird alien creatures. Yes, there are aliens in this world. Get used to it. One of them is stuck underneath the roof and he keeps repeating this one bit of dialogue. The other one's trying to get her to come down until uh, Walter and the stupid snake idiot come over. The snake was a bit hesitant on helping her, but Walter ended up convincing her. And here's how they help her. So the spider yells at her. She jumps five feet in the fucking air. And then this fucking B character, oh yeah, there's a B character forgot to mention that. Nah. Man, I suck at this whole reviewing thing, don't I? She jumps down, says, ooh, what a situation, or some weird pun like that, and then the bee falls, and then the ugly alien thing falls down. What the hell? So essentially, they go to the alien's place, and then the alien guy says, hey, don't turn on the TV. The, de the TV is a fucking demon creature that will devour your soul slowly but surely. So whatever you do, do not turn it on. Of course, our main characters being total, complete and utter idiots, completely ignore what she said and proceed to exactly do the opposite and watch TV. They watch this weird show where it's like, I don't know, Wheel of Fortune or Family Feud, but instead of getting a question wrong and losing points, you get spanked. I know, this movie is just crazy. So the TV cop becomes evil and tries to murder them so they get away. So essentially they go to get gas and you're probably wondering why am I just speeding through the movie. It's because this movie has literally so little content that I have to speed through the movie rapidly just so I can make a cohesive story. So anyways they go to this gas station and they steal some gas or something, I don't know. The police start chasing them down and I guess the spider decides to break all laws of physics and uh, sends them flying by booing them. And oh yeah, they also use rocket launches like in a car's life. You're seeing a lot of reused assets, assets from that movie, aren't you? So we finally get to Las Vegas and then this random snake character drops from the sky. Hey writers, can I tell you a little fun fact about this thing called writing? You know how you have to build your characters up over time? Yeah, you don't just drop them from the fucking sky. Like, I don't even know who this character is, but she reminds me of Speedy, so I instantly hate her. So essentially, Walter signs up for this um, audition at a theater. He ends up drowning himself in his own stupidity. Of course he does. 
and I mean literally, the audition literally makes him wear a freaking um, goldfish bowl and sing. I don't even know how he does that, but he ends up suffocating and uh, it's back to square one. Hey, yeah, up until this point, the movie just has this horrible structure where it's Walter does, uh, what Snake tells him to do something, Walter does it, Walter fails. Repeat. It is very annoying. So essentially, Walter joins that uh, spanking show that was shown earlier, and uh, he got a couple questions about colour. Oh no, he's a pig. A pig can't see colour, so uh, this is kind of hard for him. Eventually, he gets the questions wrong and uh, he gets spanked. But here's the weird part. Not only does he get spanked, but the but the guy hosting the show also gets spanked and dies! What the hell? I swear this movie just gets weirder and weirder. Like, he straight up died! What? So essentially, then he gets hosted for a Japanese karate film. What? And then he has to fight these uh, kung fu robots, and then the director fucking explodes the building that he's near, and uh, he ends up going to the hospital. The fuck's going on with this movie? I don't even know anymore. Shit just happens for no reason. Well, what is even going on? Before it was the guy who got spanked. N now he now he's getting fucking. F I don't even know. This movie's breaking me. So then he gets sent to another audition, but then it's not actually an audition. It turns out that it's a fucking pig meat grind up area. So essentially these snakes are planning to eat him up and eat his flesh raw. Isn't that like bloody cannibalism? Isn't this a world filled with aliens and humans and, and fucking animals? Why are they murdering each other and eating each other? What the hell is going on? I don't even know what's going on anymore. What? Where am I? Who am I? What the fuck's going on? So essentially, um, uh, the butt, the fly, and the fucking spider and shit save Walter and, uh, movie over. End. Uh, done. Bye. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what the fuck I just watched. I'm pretty sure the moral of this movie is that you shouldn't lie. I don't know anymore. Okay, I just want this review to end. You want to know my score? 7 out of 10, yeah. Fucking masterpiece. I love it. The characters are beautiful. The, the story is just... Ah, fuck me. Video